NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell sending a letter to NFL teams about the anthem controversy. Here it is, part of it at least. Like many of our fans, we believe that everyone should stand for the national anthem. President Trump tweeted this. It is about time that Roger Goodell of the NFL is finally demanding that all players stand for our great national anthem and respect our country. There it is on your screens right now. That's the presidential tweet. Joining us, Britt McHenry, former ESPN reporter and contributor to The Federalist. Can you break this down for us? What on earth is going on at ESPN? <laughs> There's a lot going on. Uh, I think as more opinion type personalities are coming out at the network and sports and politics continue to blend especially with the president's tweets about the nfl there are there's commentary weighing in on the subject and i can just speak from being conservative a lot of people who felt the same as i did were timid to express their opinion so when you see the suspension recently of jamel hill that is less about the issue itself and repeatedly violating a social media policy, which is vague at best. She weighed in on the anthem protests and making a stand with your wallet, which hmm. I have to point out to you, Stuart, if you go at advertisers like Ford, <laughs> Bank of America, AT&T, those advertisers are also on ESPN. So not only are you violating the social media policy for the second time in a row, you're attacking the company's bottom line. So yeah, I mean, you're biting the issue. hand that feeds you. That's yes. what you're doing. You're biting the hand that feeds you. Don't ever do that. It's a terrible idea. Uh, I wonder, is there a connection? You were a conservative. You worked at ESPN. You left. You felt some political pressure. Did that pressure come from the top rank there, Disney, because they own ESPN? Was that where some pressure came from? There's a lot of rumors and speculation out there about Bob Iger, the CEO of Disney, about whether he'll run for president in 2020 so as a Democratic nominee. So when you hear those things, you see the SB Arthur Ashe Award going to Caitlyn Jenner and that movement as opposed to a veteran, you start to raise some questions yourself. I was told to not even like conservative-leaning tweets on Twitter, so it's a little bit of a difference when Who people are so you? brazen about it. Who told you not to, not to like on conservative tweets? Who said that to you? With respect, I will keep that behind the scenes. Was but... it ESPN management? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, but I think right now with this anthem protest issue, Stuart, it's hitting the bottom line. As you mentioned, in Dallas, America's team, ratings in the Dallas-Fort Worth area for this past Sunday's game were down 17% compared to the same time frame last year. Jerry Jones is seeing that. By the way, Jerry Jones donated $1 million to President Trump's campaign. The other owners are seeing this going on, and they're making a collective decision to do what's best for their business. Yeah, and they got to knock this off. they got, they got to stop this protest and respect the flag if they want to get that business back. That would be my opinion. Britt, uh, yes, thanks. absolutely. But I'm, I'm glad you agree with me on this one. Britt, <laughs> you come back soon, okay? There's a place for you on to. this show. I'd love to see you again. Thanks very Thank much, Britt. You. All right.